teams across our area are pivoting, changing the start times for football games tonight because of this dangerous heat. Yeah, Bria Chapman joins us live at five with more on how one high school is changing their plans and just how hot it is at this hour, Bria. Yeah, Jonathan, so right now it's over 100 degrees, and that means that feels like temperature is even hotter. And teams like Pleasant Grove, as they gear up for their first game, they're dealing with a 30 minute to an hour later start time. But Coach Jared LeBeau tells me he's been stressing to his players all week the importance of getting your body ready for this heat. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. That's the message Pleasant Grove football players have gotten all week. They're hitting the road tonight to play in Smith Station, and the feels like temperature will still be near the triple digits for kickoff. And Coach LeBeau says they're making changes to keep students safe. I'm going to allow the kids to wear their socks above their calf muscles and try to minimize um, as much clothing as, as possible to, to try to eliminate some of the the cramping and different things of that nature. Uh, today is a big day for us as far as getting them hydrated, uh, getting those electrolytes back in them and making sure they have all the proper things that they need. Coach Lebeau adds there are signs to look for when it comes to heat related issues, but players must be proactive and upfront about how they're feeling. Uh, the, the skin tone changing, you know, um, you know, the kids have to do a, a good job of being honest with the parents also and letting them know that, hey, my urine is not right, you know what I mean? All those different signs, um, if it's not smelling a certain way, um, you know, just, just paying attention to the signs because you'll see it before it happens. Uh, kids getting dizzy, uh, nauseous, and all those different things. Uh, and they have to be proactive. You know, you can't be so tough to where you don't want to let coach know because you don't want to disappoint the coach. Yeah, and this is not just about players. If you're headed to a football game tonight, you need to be drinking plenty of water and also wearing loose fitted clothing. First, first responders say that heat exhaustion is just as big of a factor for players as it is for fans. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Bria Chapman, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.